What's good, YouTubers? It's your boy TC3. And I think we headed to Louisiana. Yeah. Like if you're new, it was the Kick Life crew and enjoy. To Louisville, this ain't Louisville. It is Louisville. All right, we're in Louisville, and we at a mall. The main reason we here is to get some seafood lady. It's a place called Seafood Lady. She usually come to Cincinnati, uh, but I ain't never had it. But I always heard that she come down, and she's supposed to be having her own food store. Um in Cincinnati here soon too this year so right now we in we at some mall so it's called Oxmoor Center we have to go in here and check it out and get some seafood from the seafood lady stuff but he be doing the same stuff mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to start coming back in style though bands he's hard how much are they 84 they start selling forces in here though i need the all uh, black on black pair I've been seeing people with these on um, workout shoe. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Athletic-wise, I would rock Adidas before Jordan. They just more comfortable. Yeah, that's a good question. Jordan or Adidas? Comment below and why. Me personally, if we was playing like ball or something, I would rock Adidas before Jordan. But that's just me. But Jordan, you know what I'm saying? They part of the culture and they fresh. At one time, people was just rocking Jordans for the culture. Now people actually hooping them, so yeah. Jordan or Adidas, comment below. That's another ordinary mall. Apple store, coach, yeah, black power. Mm -hmm. Got them off white church shoes, you feel me? <laughs> you see? Just in case if you can't read or know your left from your right, got them off white church shoes. So you gotta go to the mall 
And you gotta stop by the shoe store. This the only shoe store they got in here, y'all. I don't understand, Kentucky. Louisville, I don't understand. They got all the, the GR releases on Adidas. You about to go in there? Nah. Uh, <laughs> that's tough. Oh. All right, so, yeah. This small adventure was cool, but we ain't had no business driving two hours to come to this small. We mainly came for the shrimp. Ain't that what it is? For some seafood. Sure. I'm just trying to get some seafood now, you feel me? Some shrimp stew, shrimp mustard. Shrimp stew, shrimp salad, shrimp and potatoes, shrimp burger. Shrimp steak, shrimp cobbler. <laughs> The mall was a bus, so we didn't come here for the mall. We came to get some shrimp and some seafood from the seafood lady place. So you feel me? It's, it looked like it's gonna be good, so we about to go check it out. We off. Kentucky and it just hit me so we just passed a place called Kentucky Yum Convention Center I think it's where uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken might be made that's me just making up stuff but it sounds like that's what it's here for but um then we saw a picture of the Kentucky Fried dude now it's all coming back to me that we in Kentucky so Kentucky Fried Chicken is from Kentucky you know what I'm saying? Like originated from Kentucky. Pretty cool. Me personally, I don't like Kentucky Fried Chicken. It make me eat for myself. But uh, yeah, I think we just saw a part of history. We passed the Louisville Slugger Ballpark on the way here, and we almost to our destination now. So yeah. Stay tuned, let's get it. About to go in here. It's called the Seafood Lady Spot. That's probably my fifth time asking for you. The Seafood Lady Spot. That's where we going. Uh, 
Yeah. Nobody said that. They didn't get the rock. You still need to get that then. Ooh, baby. You feel me? I got the boil joint right here. I ain't never had no boil fries. We always get fries soon. Boy, it's about to go down. Mmm, so tasty. Bone apple tea.